Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this in English. Although I'm Brazilian and I can pretend I speak Spanish, I feel terrible uh, by doing that. I, so I won't. Um, let's check that first slide. So um, I'm just going to make sure like, that I'm feeling, I've just prepared this talk in a hurry because I was feeling the energy in the event and in the room and all the people that are here. And so I just try to throw in together kind of like the, what I wish, I, what I feel like I should share with who's here. Oh yes, pitch.com. Should have done this before. <clears throat> so basically the summary of this talk is going to be just a little bit of how, the, it's a bit, of, it's like, the DAO is a very humble project. And it, its mission is specifically to put two ideas out there, that there's a space for small things, like front of shop things, where people can just do together with not the ambition to take all over the world or change the dynamics of everything. Um, if you Google my name and find like my talks or follow me on Twitter, the, basically the talks I'm saying is our personal or like mini group plans of our groups don't have to be the big change because the big change is the systemic interrelationship of all the communities and you don't have a community. So I'm not going to be talking about this today. I'm just going to talk the story of the Taoist, but there's two talks already and it will be a long series of like how to win together and to have entrepreneurial humility or something like this, like how we stop thinking in uber growth all the time and we just help set ignitions like in little systems and they find their own vocations. So for this to make sense later, when you do watch this, I think I had to give like an intro, right? And in this intro, the first chapter of this intro, because when you talk to Tao people, eventually someone's gonna utter this strange word, which is Moloch. Anybody here ever heard the word Moloch? Anybody here is confused by the word Moloch? Yeah, so Moloch is a ancient Enochian entity, a god, right? And some, not all gods are bad or good. They just have their little ways of working. And Moloch's pleasure comes from every time you doubt yourself or you give up on doing the right thing or you get so afraid that you prefer to take rather than to share. And all of these little incentives to think only about your own personal skin and not truly about the effect of your actions over everyone, right? And I still don't have visual aid. It would be cool when that happens. Uh, not gonna happen? Should I just fucking improvise like 100%? So like I spent one hour and a half in the back, okay, great. <laughs> Shit. This was, it's, <laughs> all right, so um, my personal life story as I tra tra huh? I journeyed across space time and societies and social classes to be here today. Uh, that was not possible to do without sustaining a considerable amount of damage. And in honor of that damage, I cannot allow myself to forget it as I grow fat and surrounded by earthly pleasures, I do not want to forget what it cost me to get here. And that's why we did this event here and not in Denver. When, when Chewie said, I want to do a Taoist Mexico, I canceled Taoist Denver immediately. It's like, Marginal territories, this is where it's at. Not really marginal, but just marginal because of the hegemon opinion. So if you take away my slides, this is gonna become a gigantic political rant. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Like, this is what keeps me in check, you know? I'm gonna end up hanging myself here, wake up tomorrow, cancel. This is not a good idea, Julie. Okay, I'll try to remember what I was gonna speak about because I just wanted to fill you up on what happened on the Taoist and where we're going. And why it's, imp and it's an important story for anybody who, independently of choice, uh, is at a challenger status, right? And don't worry if you feel pain and then you meet like these successful people that tell you like, no man, this is not real, everything's fine, just manifest abundance. No, 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 your challenger status is real and your pain is not to be ignored and you need to be extra, extra smart to get somewhere because there is an actual text to being different. And whoever tries to convince you otherwise either forgot or is incentivized to watch you flounder, right? So don't, don't eat it. 
we need, right? So why is the story of the Taoist important within this context? Because it's very humble, very simple, very love-driven, but sustainable. And we often give up because we feel that the plan is so huge that when the dip comes, we can't pull through. We want something so large. So what is the Taoist right now? It started as one event in Paris by accident because I've been doing Tao stuff and Tao events for a long time. Um, and the pandemic made availability of tickets for FCC, which is an important conference, very, very limited. And I just want the Tao people to have a Tao place to do Tao shit, right? Is it okay to curse in Mexico? Okay, okay. In the States, I try not to curse. I pretend I'm not gonna curse and then I call everybody fuckers during the talk and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, so cool. Then we did it. We had 20 way, 28 days to organize it. So everything that you see in terms of like branding, logo, voice style of the Taoist was born in four weeks by a group of three people being completely insane and sustaining a considerable amount of damage to do so, right? But everything else came from that accidental, charming incompetence that delivered on its desires. And one of these is the Taoist Mexico. Chewy, actually, the only reason why there was a stream during uh, the first Taoist is because Chewy was there to take the brunt. And he's doing now the stream of his own event here. And we should have talked about my slides before because I do have a PDF. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Why did that happen? Why, why did I organize an event when I had so many other things going on, working for so many other DAOs and being super busy? Because I believe in real life connection spaces matter. I think there is a, we are great at digital. We're, 5G is gonna be awesome. We can smell each other over the computer, I hope, I don't know. But the bandwidth of informational transfer and the capacity to, for collaboration and acting together that happens when I can look past your eyes, inside your eyes, it's, it's just indescribable, right? It's driving most of the things you do and you don't even think about it. These affectional algorithms that you're gonna see Haha talking about in homo deus, for example. Um, they are there, there's no discussion, right? Uh, I'm gonna drop a fucking truth bomb. This is a non-judgmental observation of the nature of humanity. Why do white people dying in Ukraine are so much more moving than all the other people dying? Just, just make sure you think about this half an hour today. I don't have an opinion, but I do think about it. Uh, affectional algorithms. Going back to the Taoist. Um, so we organized a second event in Lisbon. And this time, we had our shit together. We had a network, we had friends, people were like, fuck yeah, you guys did great, this is awesome. We raised like three times more money. It was profitable, sustainable, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, shit. I became an event organizer again. It's not what I want to do. I want to set ignition. I want to see other people doing stuff. I want to create spaces where what was impossible yesterday becomes possible tomorrow because of a clever arrangement of resources. And events are super cool and super important, but we spend a lot of money to put these things together. The money just goes poof, right? There's some food. You get some cool t-shirts. We try to make them as nice as possible so that you don't like throw them away. And we turn other things into, so the Taoist merch is always like aprons and lunch boxes and tea sets and things you can actually use in your life so they just don't like flip, go away. But, and now I have, I'm like traveling blind. I need people to throw me like time limits. If you feel like I really need you, if it's boring, just like yawn at me, cause it, it, yeah. We did this second event. Unbeknownst to me, because I'm quite antisocial, like men in a shed, person like doing its thing, this thing became a net, like global phenomenon. Everybody was, like the Taoist name was everywhere. And it was kind of embarrassing for me because it comes with a certain imposter syndrome situation. So pressure's coming. Imposter syndrome, I became an event organizer. Oh, damn it, I need to carry this now and I, for my own good, I need to share this as widely as possible. What am I gonna do? I bet everyone here can get 
guess what happened? Anybody got a guess? Uh, make a DAO. <laughs> no? So, but why make a DAO that is like the other DAOs that already exist? No, of course, I had to make a completely different DAO that nobody has done before. So, boom, here I go and start talking to people. I start to, like getting, talking, first to talk to the richest and the easiest. So, you go like, Griff, I need your help. And then <laughs> Griff goes and commits something. Yeah, he's going to talk after me, and I hope his slides work because he's our even more elaborate than mine. Basically, we started getting all this funding to create what is a research center for the meaning of the DAO verse and the DAO narrative, and to help it protect, protect it from free riders. So basically, the conclusion that I've seen on the capacity of having this Taoist meme just travel so fast, touch a bunch of people, sometimes they're even imagining things that don't exist. A lot of people think I'm way more important than I am just because of the Taoist. Like, I've done so many other things that are actually more important than the Taoist. <laughs> Nobody knows about it. Um, so what if we had a think tank political center, a place where we can get together and think about what it means to be this cultural movement that we are? Because this is not about finance. This is not just about the environment. I guess, actually, yeah, I think ReFi is amazing. But whenever you say that you want to save the environment, I just want, I want to, okay, another truth bomb. The environment is going to be fine. Earth is going to go and we're all dead. You're not saving the environment. You're saving yourselves. At least admit it, right? Because then it's going to get easier to do it. So just, just another one, sorry. Going back to the Taoist. Um, so we did it. We built the Tao. The Tao has, is formed by everyone that has ever sponsored the Taoist, plus a set of Taoist OGs that we've invited, and we want to grow that group to four times the size it is now. And the people that work on the Taoist day in, day out. This Tao is named Dawn, and you can check it out to go to the Taoist.co slash Dawn, as in the morning, right? When the sun rises, Dawn, D A W N. And you will see the slides that should be here probably, or in many of them. Um, this place is going to not only manage what it means to be a, the Taoist event, but it also what it means to be a Taoist embassy. Anybody ever heard about the Taoist embassies here? No? All right. So we need foreign relations with legacy. We need to be able to go talk to them and represent our interests and uh, take control of the narrative, fight against psyops like NFTs are destroying the environment, which is kind of not true, especially if you compare what validates the crypto dollar and what validates Ethereum, I think ours is cheaper and less energy intensive. Um, so, you know, military industrial complex, all the other things, ah, fuck. Right, but no, 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 I'm not, I'm not a political agent, I'm not a person of special interest. I just rented a house in Portugal, has a gigantic pool, 550 square meters, and I'm gonna share it with the community. And if you wanna be part of a residency and you wanna bring thoughts and do really hard work larval stage work where you really forget to, because I am a painter and I remember forgetting to eat and forgetting to shower to finish a show. If you're in that place, apply. We're gonna be, have tracks working on tech, policy, and art. And the idea is all the funders, right? So Giveth, Cello, um, PrimeDAO, our big ambassador sponsors, um, some fund, some funds from the Fear Foundation, but they don't have governance. We're all gonna decide together what it means to be this place as a DAO, right? And then people ask me, what's the plan? What is the DAO is gonna become? And the true answer is fuck me if I know. And my true dream is that it doesn't come from my head anymore. So in one year and a half, let's see what happened with this house. And if you're coming through Lisbon, somewhere after or right before the 1st of April, we need your help. We have many tables to build, we have beds to build, we have everything to come together, and this is very, very real. And the message that I wanna give specifically this audience is that if I did it, you probably can do it too. It might take five years and be very painful like it was for me, but I don't think so. I think a lot has happened. Our conversations are incredibly streamlined now, and we, the resources are here, DAOs are real. And four years ago, jury was out. 
you know? Um, how much time do people need a break? We can do a Q&A. There was pictures of the DAO and there was explanations of like who has the tokens and how the tokens look like and all the NFTs and pictures of the house and like how we are having um, collective planning sessions on Figma and you can join the Discord and the community calls and all these things. This was all there. But I am cursed with leaving things for posterity. It all, always something fucking happens. So... Uh, Chewy, after you get this stream, I'm just gonna like edit the slides on top and then we put it on the Daoist YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's actually next to you, right? On my computer, right there. <laughs> um, so the last slide was the most important. So what can you do? If you feel that this ex is exciting and you wanna be a part of it, what can you do about it? Well, first and foremost is go to the Daoist.co, join the Telegram channel, join the Discord, because there you can get the announcements, you can see everything that's happening. You can follow the project on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, um, which you can find me by looking for Elko, which is a name. You might have heard of me as Felipe. I decided to own my name and change it. If you're wondering what Elko means, it just is a shortening of elementary complexity, which is my handle on Telegram. So at elementary complexity. And woo, yes, that's Don, right? And <clears throat> We, we don't necessarily need you. You know when people say, I need you to do this for me. I don't really like that language, but there is more than enough space for people to join the project, to enjoy the project, and to build things together. And if there's something you're doing that is related to this, connect. So the mission of the Taoist is to be a connective, which is different than a collective. We are goalless, we are enablers, we are nurturing. We are just a space of pregnant emptiness, right? And I would like to really uh, coexist with the people who show up to fill it up, and that, that's, that's it. <laughs> questions? Any questions? Any, any? Yo. Well, because Moloch is the foundational myth of our current Tao people thing, right? So I always start my talks with a slide for Moloch, almost like an offering to respect the Murphy's Law and the things go wrong. And even that the most beautiful projects sometimes have a little bit of corruption. So I, I, and it's also a poem called The How, which I really enjoy. So I made it like a little collage and I always start with that collage to make people like, we need to be Different to Moloch, you know. That was it. Any more questions? Duarte Dao. D U A R T E D A O. Any challenging, mean questions that might make me cry? Griff, no. <laughs> All right. Thanks.